So just a small continuation um, of what I was just saying in the previous video is that everything we go through, good and bad, are soul lessons for us. And sometimes, you know, when we go through a bad experience, um, it's there to teach us something about ourselves, who we are, how powerful we are. So although bad experiences are not good, and we do resist them, that saying that what we resist persists means that if you continue um, staying in a situation that you don't want to be in, it's going to carry on until you take your power back, you do something about it. So if somebody is mistreating you and you keep day in, day out, putting up with the same nonsense, just resisting it, I don't want it, I don't want it. It won't stop until you say enough. Take some action and do something about getting out of that situation. I was feeling so down in the previous situation that I couldn't even pray. I couldn't even say what I wanted. But having slept, oh, you know, and thought about it overnight, I was feeling a bit stronger in the morning. And I did pray about it. And I asked the angels to help me in this way and that way to sort out what to do about this situation. And you can do that. You can ask for help. You're not alone. But the whole point of these situations that we're in is because those other people that are giving us difficult time are trying to teach us something about ourselves. It might not be conscious. It's like watching a movie and they're playing the role of the villain and you're the victim. And you have to decide how you're going to handle this situation whether you're going to continue being in that situation where you're persecuted or you're going to uh, survive somehow, you know. And this is the story of our lives, that these are triggers. These are ways that we have been treated in the past and they come up time and time again because it's telling us, look, you're not dealing with this, you need to deal with this, you don't have to be in this type of situation. And I think sometimes we put ourselves out there for others um, when they are not willing to even understand or fathom what we're all about, how much we are doing for them, outside of what uh, is necessary to be able to make um, you know the situation the best it can be. And you know, you search and search in this world to find places where you fit. And these situations are telling you, if nothing else, what is not working for you. And this is how you gain your power back. This is how you decide that you don't want to be in a certain situation that's abusive or making you unhappy. And you know, the sad thing is, the moment you realise that this situation is steering you towards a path where you're going to struggle, you need to remove yourself. You can politely excuse yourself from the situation. You don't even have to explain anything. You can just, you know, um, make a statement and just say it's not working out. Um, and it's best sometimes not to get angry, to shout, to have to feel you have to explain yourself, to let people persuade you to do things you don't want to do. And it's all about taking your power back knowing how powerful you are as a human being. And, you know, you've got all these messages in society saying, oh, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. All you should be doing is looking after yourself. 